Good morning, I'm Pedro Beauchamp. I'm Christine Beauchamp. And today we will be chatting about rule number 18, lost ball or out of bounds for penalty of stroke and distance. But specifically, we're gonna be talking about model local rule E5. Before 2019, when there was a chance our ball was lost um, outside a penalty area or out of bounds, we used to be advised to play a provisional ball in order to save time and before going out to search. Um, that was one option because our only option of relief was stroke and distance. We were advised to play the provisional ball in order to save time. Now there is a new local rule, it's called Motor Local Rule E5, and this rule will allow us an additional form of relief for a ball that's lost outside the penalty area or out of bounds. It is a decision that we must make before we leave the tee. Are I going to play a provisional ball as I was used to playing before 2019, or will I go forward to search and then decide to use the Moto Local Rule E5, which we will explain shortly. But let me tell you, the decision is important before we leave the tee because this is not an option-based local rule. If your club in which you belong, or the association in which you play, or the championship in which you're competing has adopted Model Local Rule E5, you will be able to use it, and we will tell you how to use it. But it must be implemented. A local rule is something that is not part of the 24 basic rules. It is a local rule that is adopted for use in certain moments. You will not see a player in the PGA Tour on a Sunday afternoon implementing this local rule E5. So make the decision before you leave the tee, I will play a provisional or I will be going forward to search and implement the local rule that has been adopted by this championship. Let's see how this works, let's move on. So if there's a chance that my ball may be lost, or has gone out of bounds, as we see here in this image, going out of bounds on point A, I will be allowed by implementing this local rule to measure, and I advise if you have a distance measuring device, take your distance measuring device and measure that distance from point A to the flag stick, let's say 165 yards, and then you're gonna move on a semicircular arch to a point B on the fairway, which measures also 165 yards to the flag stick. From that point, I even have two additional club lengths to drop my ball. So that whole salmon area um, colored space there has become the largest relief area in the history of golf. I will be able to drop within that relief area and if my ball goes a little bit forward within it, a little bit backwards within it, I will be, that ball is in play. The only thing my ball cannot do is go forward beyond that salmon common, um, colored area. So that's the local rule in case your ball has gone out of bounds on point A as we see here. More often, maybe a ball might be lost um, in, a, in the bushes in the general area. Let's say you hit your ball and the ball is slot here at point A in this uh, bush areas. Um, you hold it and uh, Christine will uh, show it. In the bush areas. What will be the relief? Basically the same way. Let's say you measure from from A until to the flag and it will measure 50 yards. You will go to point B, which is 50 yards in the border of the fairway, all the way to the flag. And from there, we have two additional club length. Remember, a club length is the length of your longest club in your bag, except your putter. You have an area of two additional club length, which will put you in the fairway, by the way. 
And you also, from point A, which will with the ball is expected to be, obviously not where the ball is because you cannot find it, but where the ball is expected to be, and you measure on the other side two additional club length. And the salmon area, the shaded area, is your relief area. It's the largest, like Christine said, relief area. And the only restriction is your ball to stay in the relief area and not get any closer to the hole. This will be similar to playing under stroke and distance. Uh, uh, two penalty strokes, uh, one from going back and another one for hitting your ball again, too. There are other occasions in which we overshoot the green. We have this player here that will execute a shot and the ball will lead this out of bounds line just behind the potting green and the ball crosses here at point A. How do we proceed? Exactly the same way. We measure with our range finder from the flag all the way to point A. Let's say, for example, 30 yards. We go to the edge of the fairway and also measure 30 yards to the flag. And it has to be on this side because on the other side of the fairway it's longer because the ball went out of bounds in this side and not on that side of the hole. We would put a maybe a marker, measure two club length into the fairway and we have this semicircular equidistant, same distance to the flag and anywhere that is our relief area and we can drop the ball anywhere in that area. It will not be on the potting green, it will not be on the fringe because it will be equidistance. If it's 30 yards here, it's 30 year here, 30 here and 30 yards here. There's no uh, uh, difference in the area. This is the longest and the widest relief area present. And this is a summary of what we just talked. As Christine mentioned, this is a local rule and it is not intended to be used by high performance level pros or uh, uh, high performance amateurs. This is for our weekend golfers, amateur golfers like ourselves, and this is for uh, only if adopted by your local rule and it is in the terms or condition of the tournament you are playing. One important reminder, I would like to remind you that if you have intentions of utilizing the local rule as your relief option, you may not play a provisional ball. Once you have played a provisional ball, you will not be able to adopt the local rule. This is not a choice. Let me see if I like my provisional ball or where I am going to be able to drop my ball according to the local rule. Make your decision before you leave the tee, play a provisional ball or I will adopt the local rule. Well, this is model local rule E5 and uh... Hope you have a clear understanding on how this works. And in the meantime, happy golfing. Bye. Bye.